Welcome to our discussion about supporting the Healthcare Industry Barcode, or HIBC, in PeopleSoft Mobile Inventory Management. During this video, we will provide a quick introduction to HIBC, discuss how to set up for HIBC in PeopleSoft Mobile Inventory, discuss parsing logic in HIBC, discuss item information for HIBC parsing, and discuss where to find additional information. Introduction. Health Industry Barcode, or HIBC, is the primary barcode standard used in the healthcare industry to support inventory tracking requirements. Although other barcode standards like Global Trade Item Number, or G10, and International Council for Commonality in Blood Banking Automation, or ICCBA, are in use, HIBC is widely used to ensure uniformity across supply chain partners in the healthcare industry. PeopleSoft Inventory Management has extended its barcode parsing logic to identify and parse HIBC for all mobile inventory transactions. Based on a product's barcode scan result, the barcode parsing subroutine determines the parsing logic to be applied. If a manufacturer has printed the HIBC label on their products, the HIBC scanning rules are populated to identify and separate the data elements contained in the barcode into separate data fields on the mobile inventory page. Setting up HIBC in PeopleSoft Mobile Inventory. The following page shots were taken using PeopleSoft Image 22. To perform barcode scanning within PeopleSoft Mobile Inventory, you need to set up mobile application barcode parsing on the Mobile Inventory Installation Options page. Select the Use Barcode Symbology ID and Parse Barcode to Multi-Fields checkboxes. The HIBC barcode can contain multiple data elements. Therefore, when you select the Parse Barcode to Multi-Fields checkbox, the system parses the data into separate data fields. To enable barcode parsing for each transaction in mobile inventory, select the Filter All Alternate Items checkbox. If you are using the Universal Item Identifier feature within PeopleSoft Inventory, access the Alternate Item Groups page and specify the Universal Product Number or UPN type code. In this case, the UPN code type is HIBC. Valid alternate types include Manufacturer Item ID, Product ID, Universal Product Code, or UPC, UPN, or Supplier Item ID. Only the alternate item IDs listed on this page can be used when searching for the matching item ID. For example, if you do not include Product ID in the Alternate Types column, then the system does not retrieve the item ID based on a valid product ID. Select the default Unit of Measure checkbox to indicate that the associated UOM should be used by the system as a default for the transaction. At the business unit level, you must select an alternate item group before you use barcode parsing for mobile inventory. Therefore, specify the details of the alternate item group. In this case, it should be HIBC. If you use Express Issue and Express Put Away transactions using the classic interface, select the Use UDI Barcode in Inventory checkbox. However, if you create these transactions using PeopleSoft Mobile Inventory, you do not need to select this checkbox. After selecting the options discussed so far, you can proceed to set up HIBC barcode support in PeopleSoft Mobile Inventory. To begin the HIBC setup, use the Barcode Symbology Type page to define a HIBC barcode symbology type that can be parsed. The Symbology Identifier is a unique identifying value that is assigned to a specific barcode symbology. The HIBC barcode is indicated with a plus sign, which is added to the front of the actual data string. Select the Without Preamble checkbox to indicate if a character preamble is present on the scanner. Enter values in the Short Description and Description fields and click Save. 
The barcode symbology identifier provides a method for a barcode reader to execute a barcode scan or read and to indicate what type of barcode symbology is used to create the barcode. Multiple symbology identifiers can be associated to a barcode symbology type. Use the barcode rule setting page to determine barcode rules such as application identifier, quantity format, quantity length, and so on. A barcode type can have many application identifiers. Application identifiers and barcode rules are created automatically by the system after the HIBC symbology type is defined. On the barcode rule setting page, you can define your own barcode rules to be compatible with any new barcode type. Parsing logic for HIBC. HIBC uses a different nomenclature to define barcodes. The different types of HIBC, that is primary and secondary, are discussed in the following slides. To perform successful barcode parsing, the parsing logic should identify the specific standard used for barcode formatting. The HIBC barcode symbology uses standard barcode formats. The HIBC barcode is indicated with a plus symbol, which is added to the front of the actual data string. This plus symbol is not part of the three character prefix that the barcode scanning device adds to the front of the scanning data results. In addition to HIBC, PeopleSoft Mobile Inventory also supports GS1 barcodes. While scanning, if the barcode scanner identifies the plus symbol, the HIBC parsing logic is used to parse the HIBC results. Symbology and barcode rules are created automatically once the HIBC symbology type is defined. You can define your own barcode rule to be compatible with any new barcode type using the barcode rule setting page. Information for HIBC parsing. HIBC item information can provide an item's primary and secondary information in one large barcode or in two separate barcodes. If two separate barcodes are used, the first barcode is a primary unique device identifier information. The second barcode provides production information with specific attributes of that particular production quantity, lot, or both for the item. All HIBC barcodes begin with a plus sign. In the case of primary data, the supplier labeling flag character, or plus sign, and labeler identification code, LIC, have a fixed length. The LIC can be alphanumeric, with the first character always being an alphabetic character. The LIC is assigned and maintained by HIBCC. The LIC may identify a labeler to the point of separate subsidiaries and divisions within a parent organization. The length of a product catalog number, or PCN, can vary between 1 and 18 and can be an alphanumeric character. Unit of measure, or U, can only be a numeric value and has a fixed character length of 0 through 9. 0 indicates unit of use items. 1 through 8 indicates different packaging levels above the unit of use. A 9 is used for variable quantity containers when manual key entry or scan of secondary data is used to collect specific quantity data. The labeler should ensure consistency in this field during their packaging process. A check or link character C only contains an alpha number and is calculated from the above characters. This is an example of a primary data structure. The plus character indicates HIBC. The E234 indicates the labeler ID code. The MEDIX12Y indicates the product catalog number. The zero indicates the unit of measure, and the L indicates the check link character. The format of the secondary data barcode is dependent on the data required to be encoded. If secondary data is provided in a separate barcode, 
it always begins with a plus symbol, and the second character is either a numeric value or a dollar symbol. The HIBC secondary data includes a total of 36 standard data nomenclatures. This table provides some examples. Secondary data consists of a symbology identifier, application identifier, quantity format character, quantity format, date usage flag, date format. Data usage that indicates a lot or serial link character which should be the same with the corresponding check character of primary data and a check character. Secondary data can be provided in its own separate barcode or can be included in one large concatenated barcode. In a concatenated barcode, the secondary data follows the primary data and a forward slash is used as a delimiter between the primary and secondary data. There can be many data delimitators, or forward slashes, in a barcode to separate multiple secondary data fields. Sometimes a combined secondary data format is used by the labelers. Additional information. For additional information, please see PeopleSoft online help at www.peoplesoftinfo.com. This concludes our discussion on supporting HIBC in PeopleSoft Mobile Inventory Management.